In this episode, severe storms challenge the trip, and I make my way to the middle of Tennessee, where the spotted saddle horse breed was developed. Okay, tomorrow they're forecasting severe weather. Like oh, good. So <laughs> I don't know if you want to wait a day. <laughs> dark and a little stormy. You know, it doesn't look so bad on the GoPro screen, actually. Really? It just kind of looks like a wall cloud, but it's kind of brighter than it actually is. This makes Alyssa a little nervous, so luckily Pete is driving still. I was happy to arrive safely in Nashville where we were staying with family for a few days. Any, do you want to tell me what's happening right now? Just a tornado, just a November tornado, natural November tornadoes. Luckily, when your cousin happens to be an incredible musician with a music studio in his basement, tornado warnings turn into concerts. I may have slept in the basement. So we survived the tornado and we're gonna see the spotted saddle horse and a wakabusa today. I met up with another one of my horse search selections from Facebook. Brooke and her eight-year-old triple registered stallion, Bandit's Gold Alante. Brooke bought him as a yearling and was intending to resell him, but that quickly changed when she saw how special he was. Alante is now a sought-after breeding stallion. He has foals all over the United States. He has the smooth saddle gait that the breed is known for, is a fun and reliable trail horse, and has even won championships in the show ring. Good pull. I literally bred a mare in that pen yesterday. I can breed him that morning, go ride him that day. <laughs> my ride was complete, but my time with Alante and Brooke wasn't quite over, because in the stall next door, a Wakaloosa gelding was waiting for me. 